Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Welcome back to another episode of Industry Giant 2. I'm your host. My name is John Megacycle. We just finished the easy and the medium campaigns. These were a lot of fun, interesting challenges in their own right, even though they're, heck, two or three of these maps, I would just say were straight up difficult. But we were able to pull through, finish up that medium campaign. Now it's time for the hard campaign. As you can guess, is going to be a bit more difficult, a few more interesting challenges, more logistic maybe than just, you don't have a lot of money, make a lot of money. But we'll see. Uh, let's see here. Caledonia? That's how I want to pronounce that. New Caledonia. Map size small. Initial year is 1910. End of the mission is 1924. Campaign difficult. Mission 1. You are dead set on building up a business empire in the far north, a rather inhospitable, hospitable, yeah, I was right, area. This is actually not a bad idea, as the region's inhabitants also need to spend money. Your ambitious target is to achieve a company value of 25 million within 15 years by only producing and selling building materials and household utensils. Unfortunately, the Forestry Commission couldn't make up their minds about granting you a lumberjack license. Uh, never mind. At least you have the Prospector's License, which allows you to exploit natural resources. You can also fall back on three full petroleum storage spaces when you took over, or which you took over at an extremely low price from a company that had been about to go bankrupt. Good luck. Always that mysterious black screen for no reason. Load up the map once, takes forever. Load up the map again, right as rain. Alright, we've got about what? About four million in value. That's a lot of petroleum. Okay, we have Aurora. Oh my god, hold on. Yeah. There we go. We have Aurora and Pugwash. Is that it? Is that all is that all for towns? Inverness. Indian Brook. That really looks like it. Okay, so I this is actually very easy for me to determine where the heck I'm gonna bring product. Now what can I sell again? Hardware and utensils or something? Hardware store is wheelbarrows. Utensils and deep freezers. Okay. Uh huh. These are going to be turned into plastic, I'm sure. As the years go on, I'm confident that's what that's for. This is going to be plastic and then turned into containers or something else. What's the growth speed on this? Is it fast? It is fast. Okay, very cool. Um, okay. Let's take a look at what we have for stuff. Precious metal there. I need precious metal for utensils. Is this it? There better be a lot of metal there. Oh, there's tons of it there. Uh, bauxite ore here. Or bauxite, at least. Iron ore there. Iron ore there. Copper here. So I think I've got the makings to make uh, the engines I'll need for what later? Not for deep freezers, like refrigerators or something? Like there's other appliances I'll need small engines for. Um, do I need... hang on, I don't know if I need a small engine for a freezer. Nope, just two steel. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Let's do the hard part first. How in the heck do I want to get product up in here? Okay, I've got the full gambit. Uh, aircraft isn't available at this time, obviously. Um, I could... I don't want to nuke those. That's good stock right there. I don't want to just poof. Um, okay. So I'm thinking something like this. This here. Large storage. Truck transit here. Just change it over so you can see what I'm thinking. 
truck transit right here to move it two inches to another warehouse right about here and then shops. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, boy, I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, how much precious metal can I get out of this? If this campaign is 15 years or something, I wanna make sure uh, that's decent. Some, some thousand in total. How much is here? Uh, a bit more. It's not crazy much, but a bit more. Okay, so let's get this party started. I have a few options. What I could do is I could ship... I could turn this precious metal into, what is it, stainless steel, right? Oh, high-grade steel. I could turn it to high-grade steel here and transport it somewhere else to get worked. Heck, you know what? Um, this town would hate me. Yeah, I don't want to set up factories there. I could. That would, that would make this really simple. Bring the raw stuff up there, have it turned into high-grade steel, and then the utensils immediately. Then I wouldn't need a transit network because they'll move the product in between the factories. But, anyway, I digress. Let's get this party started. Uh, I did this dumb. I did this so dumb! Uh, how much? What's the difference between one and two? Obviously, double the price, but let's do two. Okay, you. Nope, I'm talking to you, buddy. Uh, 8.3 is fine. Uh, 4 is not fine. 6.7 is better. We're going to turn this down right now. You can go to 2. You can go to 3. And what we'll do is I think I'll set up all the manufacturer here. So something like, how far back can I go here? Oh, perfect, because ding... And I can put another one right there. These things are a bit pricey, so I want to start off a little slow. 6.7. Okay, I'll need another factor, another steelworks and another household equipment factory to make this really work. But that's okay. That's a good start. Um, let's turn it up just a little bit here. Get some product going. Okay, very good. So there's the out. Now I need to design the in. I don't know why sometimes the map just jostles like that. But what else? I ain't gonna cry. I ain't gonna be crying. Definitely want two ports. So let's see, something like this. Something, oh, big, big storage, big storage, baby. Something like uh, this. And then I want something like uh, this. <laughs> Could it even fit two trains? That would be funny. Um. Oh my god, I actually could. Do <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is the dumbest. This is the dumbest ever. I've never done it this way. Uh, I, I would usually do trucks, but I've never done trains this close. But whatever, this could be fun. Um, I'm gonna wait until, uh... Until I actually have product, so... You will... It doesn't matter. I don't really care. Don't talk to this storage space at all. And don't talk to this storage space at all. So pick up from here, drop off to here. Did I get that right? I think I got that right. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. So I've got the transportation network set up. And we've got cutlery. Oh, gosh, these things. Let's get two, because holy crap, I don't feel like waiting. Uh, you are going to get me all cutlery all the time. And actually, I didn't set up any shops yet. Iced. Or the train. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, this is to the This is to the limit right here. Um, I need at least one shop to make the money. 
77711. 333 three, 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 five, six, six, nine. Boom. And to keep this a little more intact, I'm going to slow down time right now. Crank up the price. And I need a train. Oh my gosh, I can afford one. Hot dog. 80,000. <laughs> Can carry four things, son of a gun. Whatever. Here to here. Wait until done. Do it. First train. Yep. You got it, buddy. Okay. I have $20,000. Let's hope I didn't just bankrupt myself, but we will find out. Stay tuned. Stay tuned while we find out if I bankrupted myself. Okay. Cutlery and cutlery. Cool. Yep. Product from A to B, 113,000. Not two shabs. Not two shabs. Okay. We're making money at some level. Very happy with that. Got another stack of cutlery. Uh, yeah, we'll have two stacks. Just in time, too. Oh, they carry 12. Right, 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 right. I keep thinking they carry 16. This is enough to get us started. And since I cranked up the price, that'll give us a little more leverage to set. Look at that. Over a quarter mil right now. Awesome. Uh, where are you? You are there. So here is okay? Done. Perfect. Like it. Now, how about deep freezers? We can get that started as well. Uh, a less of a demanded product, but still another product I can start working with, I think. No offense, guys, but I cannot wait for better ships. That's okay. I'm happy with what I've got. Uh, okay, iron. I just need iron to steal, and that's all the iron I have, right? Do, 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 do. Wow, lots of copper. That's good to see. Do, 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 do. Yep, that's all the iron. Okay. So, it goes from iron to steel, steel to fridges. Alright? Yeah. I'm going to wait till I have a million. Come on. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What is the demand for the winter months? Eight... Yeah, we're still not looking. We're still not fulfilling the cutlery demand, and I definitely want to. So let's take care of that first. Let's maximize cutlery before we start diversifying our funds. How much is here? Oh, plenty. We could do another ship. Hey. 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 Dang it. I know I clicked him too. Hey. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> Annoying. That's I. Right. Sorry, bro. This is actually working out pretty nicely. Yep, two are coming back. We'll have more than 24, which we do right now. We've got 30 or 27. Quick check on the math there. All right, with this one extra shipment, the train is less idle, which is good to see. Oh, that was a full sale. Quarter mil right there. Oh, more than a quarter million. And what was the objective again? We needed to have a company value of 25 million, not like turnover or profits or something, right? Yeah, well, we turned our 4 million to 5.5 million. And then 5.5, uh, where we were at, we were, yeah, we were at 4. So that extra 1.5 million, straight cash, baby. Straight cash. Okay. I think I want, oh, there we go. I was going to say, I think I want one more boat, but here, on time, one more boat. Boop. And this is with the price cranked up all to heck. So yeah, if we left the price at normal, we would not be making nearly as much money. What does that say? T-R-E-S-F. 
T R E S A N T. Hmm. Whatever. Anyway. Now let's take a look at what we're doing on sales of the cutlery. That's full sales. That's awesome to see. Oh, a uh, new boat. Okay, great. Uh, this is better. A little lacking when it comes to winter. Um, so let's add probably one more boat. Um, I do need to upgrade the process right now, even before adding another boat. So let's get that taken care of. Another steelworks. Another household. You get cranked. So I need, what, 15? Yeah, the 8.3 isn't going to cut it. 13.9 uh, is better. And cutlery for you. Okay, that's one to one, no problem. So realistically, yeah, uh, what would that be? 15.6? I need to harvest 15.6 of the precious, and I'm not. But, that's okie dokie. Okay, that takes care of that, and... Now that I actually doubled production, I could add another boat. Okay. That should more than definitely take care of what we need. Now, I can upgrade the train. Uh, six? What has a low resource cost? Considering I'm literally moving the product five feet, <laughs> that looks fine. Thank you. Many, much less trips per whatever, per shipment. If we were carrying four, now we're carrying six, that effectively reduces how many trips we have to do by 50%. Let's see, for every two trips we make, we save a third trip. So, reduced it by a third? I, whatever, I'm not gonna do any more math. Oh, 50% would be if we had eight. But six is uh, a third, so that's fine. Okay. Looking good here. I want to make sure we have at least, like... Oh, wow. I was going to say, I want to make sure we have at least two stacks of cutlery. Guess what? We have just about two stacks of cutlery. It's time for... Bridges. I always really enjoy starting games off with low resources. I don't know what about it, but that little internal struggle I find is a lot of fun the doubting yourself the where should I put my money what should I do with it you know and the the internal fight you're gonna have with yourself about it I think is a lot of fun man I'm noticing how deep my voice is when I wake up in the morning uh, 10 of that And let me guess, you'll go five? Oh, perfect. It works out perfectly. Now I just need ten iron. Twelve is twelve is greater than ten. I'm down like a clown, Charlie Brown. This goes to two. This can go to three. Which it never will anyhow. And then all the bridges. Okay. Two boats. Two boats, you boats. Um, actually, we're only producing, what, five a month? How many can I sell a month? That's a bigger question. Because if I can't sell that much, who cares? Uh, twos and threes. If I jack up the price, ones and twos. Five a month is more than fine. That's more than what I require. I don't need to double up production or anything. Oh, where'd it go? There we go. So let's just get one boat. Get it going, deep fridge. Yep, because that's gonna bring almost three months worth of product. Um, take two. And you don't have to wait until full. Because if you do, that's gonna be a problem. So you're gonna be running into the night. But you're getting repairs every trip right here, so what am I losing? 
Yeah, if I did on full, if I did the don't do anything until full, the bigger problem is if I'm out of these deep freezers, which I will be, nothing's going to happen. Um, okay, we're going to relax the price of cutlery a little bit here. Where's a good spot for that? There. I like that. That'll do. I'm almost really hoping they give me a new product soon, considering... Um, how do you make wheelbarrows? Is that what I needed plastic for? Steel and rubber. Okay. That's what I... Oh, the petroleum. Not the plastic. That's what I needed the petroleum for. I wonder how much those sell for. Probably not much. Wow, cutlery empire, am I right? Woof, okay. Cut that all the way back. Again, this game is set in such a manner that we could dial it in, we could do a lot of balancing, we could try to make sure we're only bringing in as much as we need and all that rigmarole, but... Eh. It's a more lax game for me. I just like to go for it, have some fun. Now, fridges. Where are my fridges at? You are late. I really wish these trains had multiple conditions. That, that would be cool for me. If it's leave when full, but don't leave if empty. That would, that would be it. That would save a lot of headache. Not like it's really bad or anything, but it's a real waste of fuel and energy to have it just going when it's empty. When I can't say, wait until full, you know what I'm saying? This worked out pretty nice, I'm happy with this. Uh, can I sell any decent product down here from this one? God, no. Okay. Loud, shush, shush. Okay, I want another deep freeze runner. There we go, boop. And I should have enough stocked up, right? Yeah, I've got stack and a half. If it's not full, no big deal. Bringing extra 14 really helps out. How are we doing here? 169, we're completely full of cutlery. So what that means is we're not bringing in any of the raw stuff. I can't talk. Let me try that again. Because we are full up on cutlery, we're not bringing in any of the raw stuff. So pretty soon that spot is going to be taken by steel, I'm sure, or something. Nope. Yeah, working it down pretty nice. Having a warehouse full of end product and no raw material isn't necessarily a bad thing. Yep. There's all the steel freezers coming in nice. Good. How much money do we have now? Or what's our 14 million? And I've only spent, what, five years? That's awesome. And no new products still, huh? How much can I sell wheelbarrows for? I'm curious. 22,000. Isn't that better than the base price of cutlery? Hang on. Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay, you can go away. That was just good to know. Uh, could I get any decent demand out of that? 61193. And what do I need to make that? I don't, I don't usually go do-it-yourself shops. Yeah, steel and rubber. I guess I could. I mean, I have the transportation network. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Something to consider. Since fridges, uh, I keep calling them fridges. Since deep freezers take a long time to make, I'm just gonna put iron at four. Let us stock up a little bit there. How are we doing on precious metals? 49, almost exhausted, that's fine. When it does become exhausted, I think what I'll do is I'll just let it sit for a little bit so we can work off some of those materials. We have enough stuff here as well. We have, what, in the few hundreds? A thousand there. Five hundred. Let's just say two thousand including those two bits right there. 
which is a lot of cutlery because it's a one to one to one. So the real idea is whenever we need more, I'll tap this, bring it here, get it processed, ship it out. That's the plan. And I think I can add another dock here, can't I? Yeah, that won't work. Okay, cool. Works for me. You are getting a repair facility for good behavior. And no production because you are out. Go away. I could even shut down those facilities for a while if I needed to. Yep. But this is exactly like I always say why we build the large storage space. All this extra room would not have been possible. If we did a small, we would have been having problems bringing in new product. A medium, we would have been okay with. Since it's a 3x3, three three, we would have had a little bit of room, but not much. Uh, this gives us maximum amount of oh, wiggle room. Works out pretty nice. Quarter mil every month. It's my new mantra. Quarter mil every month. Because that seems to be what's happening. And it's awesome. Okay, how are we doing here? Out of stuff? I think it's time. Uh, what I can do is I can reduce these slightly. Save a little bit on the labor cost, considering I don't need cutlery that fast. So we'll stock up a little bit on precious metal. I'm fine with that. Uh, now that I've got a bit more room, I could also do another storage. Right there, could do it. I'm liable to do it. I do not need more trains. <laughs> we are good on the trains. This is what I love to see. This is months and months and months of fresh product that even if everything broke down right now and I did not have the money to repair or rebuild my stuff, I've got it. No problem. No problem, bro. Yeah, look at that. Big green spike. All earnings. Oh yeah, this is, this is a one episode job right here. No problem. <laughs> I don't have to do anything else. We're making a quarter million every month. We're at almost 21 million, and I need 25 million. Yeah. This wasn't too bad. I wouldn't say that we beat it by a ton of time. I did use almost 7, 8 years out of the 14 they gave me, so I did need a chunk of time, but... Yeah. Uh, what was that, half a million? Awesome. Mm-hmm, mm-mm. Yeah, if you deep freezer guys have to wait for a little bit, I don't care. That's fine. Better ship technology might have made this map too easy. I don't know. But this was a logistical, you know, balancing act. Yeah, for this short of a distance, I totally would have done trucks, but trains... <laughs> it's just really funny to see a train loading here... And then literally moving, I don't know, 10 meters this way, and then dink. <laughs> oh boy, that's awesome. Alright, 23 million. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit and wait. It's gonna be done before I get a new product line rebuilt anyway. I'm kind of amazed they didn't unlock anything for us anyway, though. Either. I guess for maintenance purposes, I could have junked all these, but. The maintenance is pretty minimum. What is it? A thousand? Yeah. That's not bad at all. Especially when I'm having to deal with millions. A few thousand isn't a bad uh, isn't a bad plan at all. And I'm just gonna turn you back down. Conserve our product. Yeah, this is, this is turning into almost a year of product. If this pace keeps up, oh yeah. No problem. Deep freezers are slowing down a bit, that's okay. Don't need much more, considering I'm only selling, what, five a month? Yeah, having, having much more of that product here would just be dumb. Just be dumb. I 
I never really take a good gander at like the balance sheet and such. And that's a company value 25 mil. So I think the game's gonna end pretty soon here. Luxury points. Yep, still nothing we've gotta worry about right now. Oh, there we go. Mission accomplished. Very good. Uh yeah, show balance, company value 25 mil, very good. So, thank you all for joining me. That was another episode of Industry Giant 2, just setting our pace off on the hard campaign. I appreciate you guys joining me for another episode. My name is John Megacycle, and I'll catch you guys next time.